Uh, a movie you would absolutely hate or absolutely love. It's called Ready or Not. So right now we're removing the badges off the Model X, as you guys can see. That way we can get those painted. Sometimes we get asked to like wrap the badges instead of painting them. Problem with that is because they're so small, you can't really do it. There's not much of a surface air for the wrap to go around. It's just so hard to do, so it's better to paint it or plastic dip it. And try wrapping that. I mean like this little bar here, yeah, good luck with that. The next morning. It's good. It doesn't pass the lick test. You gotta do it and see. Good. As you guys can see, we got the badges painted and they look good. So a nice satin black color to go with the chrome delete that we have going on. Oh, that's so cool. This is the Vorstein Urus hood. We painted the entire hood the same color as the Urus, except for the vents here. We left the vents it's carbon fiber. That way you get that nice little touch of carbon and you know, ooh, there's something special about this, but it's not too over the top. So it looks really cool. Right now we're letting it cure before we put it back on the car. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but we're almost done. And once we're done, I will show you the finished product, of course. Are you sneezing everywhere, Will? I hope you don't have that. Right now we're coding his Audi RS7. Right now we're coding his RS5. RS7 or RS5? I said RS7, but it's RS5. Cut! I already did. Shut up. Yeah. Five layers of ceramic coating on this RS5. We are doing the same package actually as a Tesla Model S, the red one. So same thing, gold package. So five layers of ceramic coating. We're also doing the interior as well. I'm gonna put all the information here for you guys so you can see it. This is gonna be really good. It's gonna look really glossy once we're done with it. You remember that commercial? Which one? Five. Five dollar foot long. Yeah, that's what a foot. Nah, that's what, nah, that's what I look like in my pants. So. <laughs> now that was a joke. This. But this is a play. Stop! Stop. Stop. Yo, bro. Not now, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Stop. Chill. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill. Chill, bro. Ow, that's the point Listen, so we have a new wheel that came in for CC3. No, no. Oh. So this is the Forge Evo Series Evo 3, 20 by 9.5, 20 by 11, satin black, center caps color matched for 2018 Mercedes Benz C63 Coupe. Can't go wrong with satin black, it's super clean. It's a five spoke open design, very sporty, very open, like I said. I'm running out of vocab words. But the cool thing with open wheels is that you get to see the calipers, right? If you have bright calipers coming from the back, it pops. So that's really cool with having that. But really good looking wheel. This is the rear wheel for the C63. So let me show the concavity so you have an idea. It's not bad for the car. C63s aren't really known for having crazy concavities to begin with. But this definitely helps maximize it as much as possible. And just in case you guys didn't believe me, on the back here has been engraved by Boston to say, engineered for 2018 Mercedes AMG C63S rear. Now, unfortunately, we won't be installing these wheels ourselves. We're actually gonna be shipping these right back out to our client who lives somewhere far, far away. So that's the bad news. The good news is if you happen to be one of those clients or wanna be one of those clients who live far, far away, but wanna get wheels from us, we can still take care of you. Just hit us up, our contact info is in the description down below. Well, what are you doing? Working. Oh, you're moving scratches and swirl marks on this car? I think so. That's what it looked like normal. Uh huh. This is after compounding. Okay. This is after doing the finishing polish. Right here. Yeah. It's a lot clearer. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a huge difference. Much. So is this stage one or stage two or? Two. So what Will is doing right now is we are removing any scratches and swirl marks in the paint as you just saw. The more we can remove, the glossier the paint will look after we're done, and the more of a mirror finish we'll get at the end. What? We got done with the Model 3 that we chrome delete and brush gloss black, so let me show what it looks like. From far away, it just looks like a normal satin black, matte black chrome delete, right? But when you get close up though, that's when you're like, oh, this is not just your normal black chrome delete. It has this cool brush texture to it. And that's what makes it so unique is that you kind of get close up and see the details and then you can really appreciate how cool it looks. Right now being in direct sunlight, you guys can see all the brush strokes in the film. It makes it look so much more premium because of that effect. So I definitely recommend this if you want something a little bit different than matte black, sand black, or gloss black. The best part too is that it's not over the top either. Like it's very subtle. It looks really cool too, especially when the mirror just kind of curves right here. You just really see the uh, 
brush effect even better. Both the front and rear T logos are done in the same brush black as well to match. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We want to work in a car, so hit us up. Click up here for a video recommend just for you. Down here for our newest video, and up here to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Yeah, show me that crow. Do you know how to do it? Show me your crow. No, you're gonna hit me.